Imagine getting up every day full of energy as if you were in your 20s again. What would that be like? What would it be worth to you? What is your health worth to you? Think about it. Your health isn't everything, but without it, everything else is nothing. And yet, too many of us are taking it for granted until something goes wrong. And no one wakes up hoping to be diagnosed with a disease or chronic illness. And yet, we've never been taught how to be proactive in our health through our school or public health. As a registered health coach and integrative health practitioner, I believe it's time this information is made available to everyone. Combining new knowledge around your health and the ability to do my functional medicine lab tests in the comfort of your own home will allow you to optimize your health for today and all your tomorrows. Don't wait for your wake up call. Welcome back to a special Potapalooza episode of the Don't Wait for Your Wake Up Call podcast. I'm here with Lori Kaplan. Lori, welcome to the show. Thank you, Melissa. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm excited to have this conversation with you, and I just want to just do a little intro to the audience about who you are. Um, Lori is a joyful dietitian, certified epigenetic coach, or gene treasure hunter, farmer and farm retreat facilitator. Lori enjoys wearing many hats. Her mission is to guide her clients to calm clarity through a deeply personalized nutrition and health style plan based on the wisdom of their own DNA. And by cutting out the noise and confusion, her clients discover what their body and mind truly want to live a super fun, kick-ass life. So I love that you're here on the show because, of course, this show is all about health and wellness tips and education and teaching people how they can be proactive in their health. But I'd love for you to share, how did you get into this line of work? Yeah, so I've been a dietitian for a, a number of decades. So I was home raising my kids, doing some other things, not working in the profession. And I knew I was ready to go back. So I was looking at different options. In the meantime, I was in a, in a very deeply unhealthy marriage and also knew that needed to be transitioned out of, but just didn't feel physically and mentally able to. So I heard about this genetic testing and I, I gave it a whirl and what it, it absolutely changed my life on so many levels. Now looking back, um, it gave me the clarity of what my body truly wanted, some very simple changes. And once I implemented those, both my mind and body started feeling better. And it gave me the strength to transition out of a, a severely abusive relationship, which I knew had I stayed in, I might not be sitting here talking to you. Not to be overly dramatic, but we all know things can be very intense. So the clarity of knowing my own genetics help me now live what I wake up to every day is my dream life. <laughs> I absolutely love that. And I know that, you know, when people are in very, you know, abusive relationships, that it's hard to find the courage to get out because you're in that place of being beaten down. And that mindset that's going on there is blaming yourself and feeling not good enough, et cetera. And so it's hard to step out of that. And there's probably, you know, in many cases, there's verbal ab abuse constantly reinforcing that mindset, right? Yes. And yes. so how amazing that doing this genetic testing gave you what you needed, not only in body, but in mind, mm -hmm. so that you could step out of that yourself to move forward in your life. And I can see just looking at you here, you're absolutely thriving. You've got a smile from ear to ear that you're <laughs> glowing, right? Yeah. And that is incredible. So um, I know you call it gene inspiration, which I think is a really cool term. Can you just share, because there's a lot of genetic tests out there. Sure. Um, some sure. work I'm moving into is going this way as well. But can you just share the type of information for the audience that you were able to garner from that? Uh, yeah. test that you did. So the, the companies I work with, we look at lifestyle genetics as a dietitian. Mm -hmm. I don't diagnose. I'm not a doctor. Right. So I don't either. All, <laughs> yeah. So we look at all the genetics, 700,000 SNPs. So, and all the variants and how they express around nutrition, supplementation, which is vitamins and minerals, sleep, movement, uh, detoxification, neurotransmitters. And what that allows me to do with, with, each client is to design a highly personalized plan 
around your macros. It takes out the guesswork of what diet. Should I be keto? Should I be low carb, high carb? You know, I mean, it, I, I call it infobesity, which is a, a term yes. one of my mentors, Ashley Koch, told me about, which is we're just bombarded by all this information of what we should do to look and feel this way. And then we don't know that's correct. Wisdom. Right. Understanding from your body is so powerful because your body truly knows. And if, you know, online, there is so much information, as you said, and we don't know what is correct and what isn't. Right. And so that's where it is so important to work with someone who truly knows and to have this information about your own body, which is why I'm such a proponent for testing. Stop guessing, start testing, you know? And I run functional medicine lab tests. You are talking my talk because I look at all of those lifestyle factors like you do. And that's why I'm so excited to have you here on the show because I love sharing other practitioners that are doing really cool things with my audience so that people know that they have so many really good options when it comes to being proactive in your health and you can find the right one that aligns for you. Right, right. And yeah, the testing takes the guesswork out. And sometimes I do pair additional blood work. Um, Sometimes folks will come with the labs from their doc and I'll use those. Or sometimes we want to look at others and I'll pair that with, depending on what they're coming to me for conditions. So, um, but it takes the guesswork out. And then what, what for myself, it gave me this foundation to feel healthy. It's not that I follow it every day. Some days I eat the things that I know might not be ideal, but I know I can always go back to this place. And that provides a sense of safety. Yes. And I love that because I teach the 80-20 rule. Hmm. If we eat the way our body wants to 80% of the time, it can handle the 20% of the time when we don't, because we don't always have control over the food that we're eating, or maybe we want to celebrate and we should celebrate, right? right. Joyful, joyful it's, food. <laughs> exactly. It's yeah. when it's the other way around that the body can't cope and it isn't thriving. When 80% of the time we're eating processed fast food, you know, getting lots of omega-6 oils in and not the omega-3s, et cetera, et cetera, causing inflammation in the body. That's yeah. when the body struggles. And, you know, I was just traveling this last weekend. I went out to Toronto to help my daughter move out of her apartment at the end of third year. And did I eat perfectly? No. Were we celebrating the end of her third year? Yes. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm home again, I can just get right back on track with the way my body wants to eat. And I am. Today's a fasting day because I'm a big proponent of detoxing. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just letting my body get into that state of autophagy. So we get to make choices with knowledge, right? It knowledge is power. It allows us to make better choices in the moment. Mm -hmm. I get to choose when I'm going to eat really healthy and serve my body so that I can thrive. And I get to choose when maybe I won't. And that's okay. Yeah. 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 It gives you the power. I know some folks come to me and they'll say, what am I going to find out? And said, you know, this isn't, again, it's not medical. We're not looking at diagnosis, but it gives you the power to change your genetic expression, to influence your genetic expression with the lifestyle, that epigenome, which is epi, which is all about our genetics, to influence the genes that we want to turn on or the ones that we want to dim down. So it gives you the power. And I love that you mentioned that. I talk about it all the time, but just to remind the audience listening to this particular episode, that epigenetics is new science that shows us that our genes do not dictate our health outcomes. In fact, they're only five to 10% of the factor. And the other 90 to 95% of the factor is the environment you create inside your body due to the lifestyle you live. And I love that because it puts you in the driver's seat of your health outcomes. You get to choose. And now that you're here listening to this, now that you know that you get to choose, you can start making better choices as opposed to just thinking, oh, my mom had breast cancer, I'm going to get it. Or my dad had heart disease, I'm going to get it. Right. And that's a disservice to yourself. And we can change that mindset too, because what we focus on, we get more of. If that's right. running around in your unconscious mind, mm-hmm. you can bring it on, mm-hmm. that's but you exactly. don't have to. Right. Yeah. Within my coaching program, we do a lot of precision language you know, mm-hmm. so 
people said, oh, I did a bad thing. I ate the bad food. And I'm like, no, no, let's, let's reframe that. Yep. <laughs> I also do a lot of celebrating with my clients for the little wins. You know, yes. we, we're so hard on ourselves. We we're are. Like, we're our own worst critic. And it's just, it, we're here for a blip of time. Yes. If we can find self-love, you know, love the way we're showing up and honor it in the, in the best ways, then, then, you know, we get to live the life of, that we choose. Yes. And you're right. We are so hard on ourselves. And I love to have people just step back from that and give yourself some grace. Yes. And if you fall off, you can get back on and make a different choice, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Just because you fall off doesn't mean you have to give up and quit forever. Right. Use it as a learning experience too, yeah. because sometimes when you fall off, you don't feel so great because right. your body's like, yeah, I don't like that. Right. I, I had one client who, who fell off and I said, yes, let's celebrate this. Now it, we know what we can work with. <laughs> exactly. So sometimes we want to celebrate falling off and we definitely want to celebrate the wins along the way rather than just focusing on the end goal. Because mm. We may not ever get to that end goal because along the way, the end goal might change. And if we're just always waiting to celebrate the end goal mm -hmm. and not get there, then we never celebrate. That's right. That's right. The celebration reinforces that you're on the right path mm -hmm. and keeps your mind in the game of what you are focusing on. So yeah. I love all of what you're doing. This is absolutely, absolutely amazing. I love to ask my uh, guests, Lori, what does don't wait for your wake up call mean to you? Yeah, so it makes me think of had I waited anymore and stayed in the marriage, I would not be living this life now of service um, to others to help others find the clarity through their genetics to then they now they get to do the amazing things they want to do. I've recently taken on a couple different challenges. Um, and I'm not waiting and I may or may not be ready. I've, I've been accepted in the Gaucho Derby, which is a eight day, 500 kilometer horse race in Patagonia. Wow. That's incredible. <laughs> so that'll be next February, which is amazing. And um, yes, and I, I'm playing drums in a rock and roll band. Very <laughs> cool. I'm totally ready, but I'm, I'm doing it. So if we, if we wait until we're ready, it never happens. Right. right. Because we're the readiness is uh, confidence, but we don't get confidence without competence. And we don't get competence if we sit in waiting mode That's until right. the confidence comes. Right. So we get the competence by doing the doings. We have to start. And OK, may not be perfect, but every day we get better. And one percent better every day is a huge impact on your life, whether it's drumming in a rock and roll band, or whether it's riding a horse for eight days in the derby, or whether it's changing your nutritional habits. Right, right. Whatever is so, personally achievable and exciting for you. Exactly. So I love that. Now, if somebody wants to work with you, get hold of you, learn more about the genetic testing that you do, how can they reach you? So my website is geneticallynourished.com. And I also um, contributed a chapter in a book called Expressive Origins that's on Amazon and wherever books are sold. Um, I'm on social, Lori Kaplan, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Genetically Nourished on Instagram. Wonderful. So I'll make sure all of that is in the show notes uh, for the audience. And any last words of wisdom that you would like to share? You know, again, we all, we have this wisdom inside of us. We layer it and cover it with the noise of the world. Um, I invite people to come to my farm because it's a very quiet healing place. And while well, you may not be able to visit me on my farm, you're welcome to, but find a space where you can be quiet and listen. And even if you think, no, I don't want to hear that, that little voice is telling you something and follow that thread follow that little voice to the magic. I love that. So, so true. And thank you for mentioning the farm as well, because nature has such a powerful healing or is a powerful healing modality for all of us. It does help us calm. It drops us into our parasympathetic nervous system where that little voice can come out. And yeah. better yet, if you're on that farm and you're grounding 
and drawing yeah. up the energy from mother earth, like walking on the earth in your bare feet. Right. That is what most people need more of in their world today, because we do live in a stressed out world mm -hmm. and we don't realize it because we look around and we see everyone else stressed out and we think it's normal. And we don't realize what that stress is doing to our long-term health and how it impacts our sleep. It's impacting the health of our gut, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. And so you offer incredible opportunities for people to really take charge of their health in so many ways. And I absolutely love what you're doing and want to stay connected more because we are yeah. so aligned in our work. Yes, absolutely. And I just want to say thank you so, so much for coming on this special Potapalooza episode and sharing what you do, because the more people who know that this is available to them, the more people who can tap into these resources for themselves. Yes. And slowly, slowly, we can put an end to the chronic illness in the world because it That's doesn't right. have to be. It doesn't need to be here. It is. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me, Melissa. It's been an honor and I, I'm excited to stay connected and learn more about what you do as well. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. And to my audience, thank you as always for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and know someone who needs to hear it, please share it with them. If you're enjoying my content and someone that wants to step into being proactive in your health and learning more, I would love to invite you to join my membership community. There's a link in the show notes for only $19.99 a month. You get access to all of my content and there's a lot as well as weekly calls that you can come and get your health questions answered. It's truly priceless. I'd love to see you join the community. Check out the link in the show notes.